In this scene here, I have a very basic FPS setup. Just an FPS controller and a weapon. As you can see, the weapon looks very static, and it doesn't feel very good. Let's fix that. So in the hierarchy, I have a camera holder which holds the camera. I also have an empty game object called weapon holder that the weapons will be a child of. Firstly, I'll need to create a script called weapon sway and add it to the weapon holder. If you have a different setup, just add it to whatever game object holds your weapons. Now let's open up the script in Visual Studio. First, we need a few fields to adjust how the weapon sway feels. A float for the smoothing and a float that will act as a multiplier. Then in update, we first need to get the mouse input. So I'll create two floats again, one for the horizontal input and one for the vertical input. To get the input, we can use input.getAxisRaw, which returns the raw mouse input. We're also going to multiply this with the sway multiplier. Next, we need to calculate the target rotation. To do this, we're going to use a method called angleAxis. This method takes in two arguments, a float for the angle and a vector3 for the axis, and it returns a quaternion for that angle and axis. So first, I'll create a quaternion for the x-axis. I'll call it x-rotation, and we'll pass in the negative vertical input for the angle and vector 3 to right for the axis. The reason we're using the negative input is because it's inverted otherwise. We'll do something very similar for the Y rotation, but instead pass in horizontal input for the angle and vector 3 dot up for the axis. No need to pass in negative input this time. Now we can create one final quaternion that will be both X rotation and Y rotation combined. I'll call it target rotation, and since we're dealing with quaternions, we can simply multiply them to calculate it. The final step is to actually rotate the weapon holder. To do this, we're going to use quaternion.slurp, which interpolates between two quaternions. So set the transform's local rotation to quaternion.slurp, pass in the current transform local rotation for the first quaternion, and pass in the target rotation for the second. And for the time, pass in smooth multiplied by time.delta time. That's it for the script. In the inspector, you can see we now have two variables, the smooth and the sway multiplier. I'd set them to something like 8 for the smooth and 2 for the multiplier. And when you test it, you can see that the weapon is rotating very nicely as we look around. This makes the game feel much nicer. And you're done. Good job. I'd also like to mention that since uploading, we've hit a few milestones. Bruh. That is insane. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed and shown support. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.